Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Sven from Frozen, step by step. So come on, let's get started. Hello, welcome back. I have been looking to draw this character on here for a little bit now, but I thought I should probably push it toward November, December, because that's when people are more prone to wanting to draw reindeer, as opposed to April or July, like I was going to. Um, I thought this was a good move. Um, so we're gonna draw Sven today, yay! Uh, but before we get into that, can I ask you a favor? Can you hit that subscribe button for me, please? You know, it's that little red rectangle with the word subscribe on it. And let your friends know, if they're looking to improve on some of their drawing techniques, push them over to Cartooning with Paul. We'll build this community a little faster, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, my Teespring account has a sale going on, and stick to the end there so we'll give you that promo code. All right, so if we're going to draw Sven's whole body, we're going to want to map this out a little bit. All right, first I'm going to start with the head. Now, because he has large antlers and, you know, long legs, we're going to want to keep that circle relatively small, and I'm going to put it over here. And he's going to be facing that direction. So that vertical axis line is going to go right here like that. And it's horizontal. I'm going to put right up here. He's going to go right up in there. I'm just going to want to map out kind of his head shape here. Just very roughly throw that in there. That way I know that we're in the right direction. Now from there, we're gonna to wanna to draw in just a rough idea of where his body's gonna go. The main crux of his back is gonna go right about here. He's got a bit of a hump there for the base of his spine. And let's see, rib cage should look like that. And his hips, his pelvis should look like that. Um, and let's see, uh, let's see, yeah, I guess we would go in like that. I'm going to cap off the back of his body right there. Let's look at the thickness of his body. So I'm going to measure the thickness from the top of my pencil there, right down on my finger. And I'm going to come down one, one height. That's going to be the length of his legs. All right, because the, the length of his leg is the same exact height as the body in this character. So what we're going to do is we're going to map out where his hooves are going to go. All right, so we have to make sure that they are like in a rectangle or a box formation down here to make sure every hoof actually has a place in this sketch. Let's see. One leg here, one leg there. And back here. We're gonna go like that. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly map out where these legs are going to go. All right, let's see. Like that. Now, of course, I'm using reference. So I already have an idea where these guys are going, but it's good to map it out just so. He's standing on the same plane when we're getting finished here. Now, of course, I know this character very well. I'm still looking at reference, right? Because I don't want to show you the wrong ways of drawing this. So, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Like that. And this is very rough. I'm going to go in with actual detail in a little bit. All right, so shoulders. One shoulder is going to be here. It's going to come off of here. Just gonna use that to guide me there. And now here, we've got his big hood foot. I'm gonna come in like that. And now this one will have like so. His, his knees 
right in here. Or his elbows, I should say. His elbows go right in here. I'm going to put those in. Do reindeer have elbows? Okay, so we've got the basic outline of where his body is going to go. We'll go back into it with detail, but for now, I want to work on his head. All right, so the first thing I want to do is dive into those eye shapes. Want to make sure that they're even on both sides. Okay. All right, so there is the basic eye socket shape right there. And now I'm going to go back inside that. I'm going to throw in his eyes. Nice big round circles first. Now you notice I'm drawing outside of this line here, but that's so that I can make sure that that eye is going to be nice and round and you only see part of it because it's obscured by his snout. So let's, let's just do the eyes right now since I'm here. So we've got an eyelid that comes down on both eyes. Nice thick outline up there. And then it's gonna come down His eyes are nice and wide open, but they're not, they're not perfect circles. Just like so. I'll, I'll worry about the pupils in a little bit. Right now, let's just work on his head shape. So, I want to come in here and go up like that. And from here, I know I roughly drew in there, but I will refine it here and bring it in a little bit, just like that. All this was placeholder. Let's see. Uh, his snout is really shaped like this. Let's see. You know, it wasn't until I was a teenager when I realized that reindeer did not look like Bambi. I was drawing some hand-drawn Christmas cards one year and somebody corrected me and said, um, reindeer don't look like that. I said, what are you talking about? Of course they do. And they said, no, they don't have deer noses. Well, I learned from watching Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer every Christmas that reindeer looked like regular woodland deer. Yeah, big fail. So once I figured that out, I then did research on what reindeer really look like and their snouts. Now, of course, this is very caricatured, but once I realized that reindeer's noses are extremely way different than your typical deer that you see in the forest, <laughs> oh, my Christmas card started looking a little nicer. Okay. So we've got his snout like this, right? We've got a big nostril here. The other nostril is going to be kind of behind him, so you're not going to see it. But now let's let's give him let's give him a big wide smile. He is extremely happy to be drawn today. We're giving Sven some love. So we're going to want to. Draw that first, and then we'll go in, and we'll give him Yeah, that's the shape we want to go for. Okay, so let's see, we'll give him a hint of a tongue here. 
And then let's give him some teeth. Let's see, tooth there, tooth there, tooth there. And now we're just gonna give a hint of some of his bottom teeth here. Let me shade that in so that makes a little more sense. All right, now let's refine these lower lips. Um, give him a bit of a chin, but just a hint here, because that's not what we accentuate with Sven. We'd like to give him some nice tufts of fur on his cheeks. And then the top of his head, bring it up a little bit. Give him some tufts of hair up top. Oops. All right. Ma'am, as soon as I switched over to a nice mechanical pencil, I don't have to worry about sharpening anymore. It's great. All right. So now let's go back in and give him some really, really expressive eyebrows. We want him nice and black so it stands out from his from his tan and his brown fur. All right. Okay. Now mine's looking a little donkey-like right now, so hopefully the ears are going to help, and then the antlers. So um, let's, yeah, let's stick with the source material here, and I am going to draw out one ear like so, and we'll tilt the other one down just like it's, just like it is in this reference here. Okay. So we've got one ear like so, and then the other one just gives a little more character to switch it up on either side. All right. When you go back in to go put in those antlers, you kind of want them roughly right about here, okay? So the first thing I do is I figure out that main shape. The antlers are very, very tall. So I got that one there. But now, because he's on an angle, the other one is going to be a little more angled than that. So we want to keep it roughly around the same height. But this one's going to bow out a little bit. Like that. When he's looking straight on, they can be symmetrical, but when he's on an angle, you don't want that. All right. And you've got these other antlers that jut out like this, right there at the bottom. And that, because of the angle again, this side is going to be kind of in line with this. It's just just the way the angle is of the antler. Now what I want to do is I want to be very careful with the reference and make sure that I'm doing this the right way. So I'm going to be very, very careful to stick as close to the reference material as I can. All right. And then the main antler comes out behind that. Yeah, let's okay. It gets thinner toward the top. I'm gonna have a one area comes out like that. Another one that comes out at a slightly different angle. And then on this side, we're gonna have one that comes out this way. Okay. 
If you can hear landscapers in the back, sorry, they've been here all week long. I've been waiting them out, and now I've waited out too long, and I'm not gonna make a deadline if I don't do it today, so sorry. <laughs> you may hear some engines, you may hear some motors. Okay, so on this side, you wanna keep it relatively around that same area there, right? Because they grow the same way, just a mirror image of each other. But like I said, we're on a different angle, so they're not going to look exactly the same, but you want to keep them in the same vicinity. One that goes like that. All right, so now that I've got that, I feel like I can give him some eyes. Let's see. I'm going to gonna come down a little bit on them just like that I'm gonna give the light reflection over on the left hand side for some reason I always seem to do it on the right but yeah I think that'll look better okay all right uh, let's see give it give some lines here for the gradation of his of his different fur colors here let's see all right and like I was hoping he doesn't look like a donkey once I put the <laughs> once I put the antlers on before I go any further let's just put in the shape of his legs now his front leg will start right around here and it'll come down into what I called his elbow earlier. Once you study animals and their anatomy, you'll find that we all have basically the same kind of anatomy. We have the same arms, the same legs that animals do. They're just configured a little differently. Once you study it, it is wild and you can't unsee it. So we've got this shape here, right? But we've got the hooves. His hooves look like this. Let's see. Get the hooves in like this. And now we'll throw in the fur on top of the hooves. Now these are computer animated, right? So they have all of this detail in it. But when you illustrate the detail, you don't want to throw in every bit of fur. You want to give it some tufts and group bits of fur together. Otherwise, it's going to look like a mess. Okay. So we got that there. We'll draw the other one. Now the other one... Draw the other one back here. And the same thing, we're gonna... Let me just shade in the hooves. Make it easier to see. Actually make it look nicer too. Okay. All right, so I'll go back up here and I'll throw in those knobby elbows. Now, if there's anybody out there that actually knows the terms for their body parts, I would love for you to throw me an email or throw it in the comments. But uh, for right now, that's just how I'm describing them. Okay, so now let's see. Let's go back here and we'll do his hind legs. Just like this. And... Got his ankle here like that. See, once once I have the the initial shapes down, I tend to like to put in the detail. 
So I'm bearing down rather hard on this so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm breaking my pencil leads. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got this. That's actually not accurate. I want to come in a little. Yeah, it's close. Okay. Close isn't good enough for me, though. Let's see. All right. Let's try that again. When you come up, it goes up here and then comes in. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay. There we go. And now this hind leg, uh, let's see, uh, what we do is you got to remember that, got to remember that we're looking at his body first and his legs second. So the body comes up like this and then it comes down before it goes back up like that. And then the hind leg will work off of that, like this. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it like that. Only because it's on an angle, otherwise you'd see the, the leg that looks like that. But, let's... Let's throw in those hooves. Just like this. And then... There we are. Okay. Okay, so now from here, we'll go back in and we'll draw in that big, beautiful mane of his. I call it a mane. I don't know what else to call it, to be honest with you. But he's got this great big, almost beard-like area of whiter fur. And we'll just sketch it in like so right just like that so now we can throw in his harness he's not wearing his saddle in this illustration on an angle, and it's partially obscured anyway. And then there's a ring that goes right here. We've got this area here. So we'll just do our best to keep this video under a certain time limit because I respect your time. That's the basics of it there. And now let's throw in that tail. I 
the tail is shaped kind of like this. And then what we'll do is we'll throw in the tufts of hair. Just like so. All right. And now, and there we go. Okay guys, like I promised, it's promo code time. My Teespring account, the link is in the description. That store is having a sale from now through December 2nd. You can get t-shirts just like these, sweatshirts, you can get stickers, tote bags, and you can get socks. Anything in that store, 15% off your entire purchase with the promo code CARTOONING. That's right, just put in the promo code CARTOONING at the end in checkout for 15% off. I want to thank you in advance for that. I also want to thank you in advance for hitting that subscribe button and telling your friends, your family, anybody that you know that likes to draw and would like to improve on their drawing skills. Show them to Cartooning with Paul, have them subscribe. I also have plenty of other videos and they're right down here below, so take a look. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today and until the next video, we'll see you later.